hi friends uh, so i just uh, want to quickly uh, complete the transformation that we have we uh, were working on so we had seen in my last session uh, the import uh, column transformation in the data flow task uh, and uh, this was the package that we were working uh, we had worked upon with uh, so basically uh, we had we had loaded uh, files in, into our database uh, uh, in the load blob table if you see we have loaded uh, two images and i had also extracted them uh, with the help of tsql queries uh, so here uh, we will be using in this session we will be learning about the export column uh, transformation and uh, instead of tsql we will be doing the same thing i mean extracting the files which are uh, which are already there the pictures images which are already there into our in, in our database table uh, with the help of the ssis uh, etl process so let's just pull in uh, quickly uh, data flow task uh, okay let me disable this one and uh, for this source uh, we will be using the source as our table which is actually hosting the data our load blob table which is actually hosting the data so it has uh, it has the id the stored path column where where the records uh, uh, from where it were loaded so it, now here the perspective is a little, little different let's consider this table as uh, the one from which you are trying to extract data so once for output column transformation the meaning of these columns is something like this the stored path is where the data will be extracted to so let's not uh, call it stored path uh, since I'm using the same example, let's call stored path as the extracted path. So uh, this file, if you see, this image will be extracted with the help of the export column transformation at this path uh, with the name desert.jpg. And uh, this this file, uh, the var binary file, which is there, will be exported to uh, to this uh, folder with the lighthouse.jpg name. So the meaning is little different since I'm using the same example. Uh, let's call stored path as the extracted path for now extracted to path you can you can call it so if you would like to call it extracted to path that's good for us next uh, we have made the connection to your uh, uh, data uh, table which is actually storing the file next pull out the ex ex uh, export um, column transformation so it's going to export the data it will be asking you the extract column file path so extract column will be the column which is actually hosting the file which is actually uh, uh, which is actually hosting the binary uh, files uh, i mean files in the binary format like the images in the binary format so for this it will be the document for us so file path is actually the path where uh, the export export column transformation will put your uh, documents i mean the images to so this is it there are some other uh, if, I mean check boxes which uh, are like append uh, force truncate each time it loads uh, or write to uh, write in a byte uh, so these are uh, order marks so we'll just leave it as it is if blank for now we'll just try to uh, export these document to the extracted uh, to path so if you have a look the A and the B are currently empty there is nothing so we are done with our transformation uh, configuration of our transformation let's just run this package right so if you see it has extracted the files and kept it in the designated folders as per the uh, as per the information stored in the stored path so this is about it about the export transformation uh, in ssis uh, so this is this completes the import and export of blobs for you when uh, with the help of etl tool uh, when ssis so we'll be moving uh, uh, on to the next uh, transformation in my next couple of videos uh, thank you so much friends